Welcome back to the Bed Bug Specialist Podcast. Yes, that's right. You're hearing a new voice. My name is AJ and I'll be hosting sometimes. And today is one of those times. Today we're going to talk about the reasons why we don't use heat treatment to kill bed bugs. So buckle up. We get a lot of customers and people in general asking us why we don't offer heat treatment. Sometimes people even hang up the phone when we tell them we don't offer heat treatment. Most customers tell us that the internet says that it's the only way to kill bed bugs. And of course, when that happens, we have to tell them that that's not true. And then we have to explain to them why that's not true. Listen, we can save you money, and a whole lot of time. If you can listen to us, just for a moment, lend us your ear. If you want to know how, just keep listening and find out why heat treatment is not always the best way to end your bed bug infestation. Here I go with the reasoning. Reason number one. When referring to bed bug heat treatments, it's really important to be clear. We don't offer heat treatment when it comes to bringing large gas or electric powered heaters near or in your home. Okay, so now that's out of the way. Here are the reasons why we don't offer that kind of bed bug treatment. First, heat treatment does not work in all situations. It's not even a solid situ- solution for all homes. Bed bugs can be found in all kinds of places, um, like cars, RVs, even in the back of semi trucks. And heat treatments can get super complicated when you can't get the large, cumbersome equipment directly near the infestation. We all know that heat radiates. And for heat to be effective, it has to be as close as possible to the infestation. And if you can't get that heater right on top of that infestation, can't get that heat really close to the bed bug, it's not going to be as effective because, as we all know, bed bugs are survivors. For example, if the bed bugs are in a small space, Uh, Maybe the heaters are too large to fit in that space, uh, like in an old or really small building. Or on the third, fourth, fifth, or even 16th floor where the heavy equipment can't even be taken. What are you going to do then? You're going to have to come up with another option. Reason number two. Secondly, the liability of heat treatment is greater than most companies will tell you. You know, if something goes wrong, your appliances, your furniture, even the structure of your home to an extent can be ruined. And I really don't like to say this, but we have to mention the risk of fire. Of course, most pest control companies will tell you how successful the heat treatments are because they want to sell you on their service. I mean, it is a business. We're all in business. But unfortunately, they oftentimes will forget to tell you about the failures or the damage that a heat treatment can possibly cause. When mentioning failure, it means that the bed bugs may be gone. Yay, no more bed bugs, no more itching, no more scratching, no more bites. Hooray. But your 46-inch TV or $2,200 laptop is now ruined. You know, that MacBook Pro. Or even some cases, as said before, your home is destroyed by fire. This is a problem you really shouldn't have to deal with, where you're just trying to eliminate a bed bug or a hundred bed bugs. When bed bugs are causing you a miserable night's sleep, you don't need the added worry of a potential house fire. Okay, reason number three, third of all. Let's discuss the dependability of heat treatment. I feel like I should whisper now, here's a trade secret. Every company that conducts heat treatment follows up that heat treatment with a chemical application after the heat treatment's done. Most companies offer chemical treatment after that heat treatment is done 
and they call it a just-in-case factor. So it's a chemical application right after the heat treatment. Don't get us wrong. Heat will kill bed bugs, but heating your home to 120 degrees will kill all kinds of bugs and fish and some small pets and potentially damage a lot of your items. Pictures, heirlooms, things of that nature. And keep in mind, heat cannot penetrate through structures. Okay, what does this mean? This means that heat cannot reach inside the walls where the bed bugs may be hiding. Bed bugs don't just hide in beds. I mean, that's the common misconception. They are on baseboards, they are in walls, they are in headboards and footballs, they are in the voids between the walls, they are inside dressers, floorboards, under wallpapers, picture frames, in appliances, in electrical wall outlets, just to name a few places. You know, moving a mattress around a few times while in 122 degrees, that'll kill the bed bugs on and around and near the mattress and of course their eggs as well. But the bed bugs and their eggs inside the walls and the other places that I mentioned, they'll still be alive. Therefore, companies always, and I mean always, apply a chemical treatment after they treat by heat. The expense of heat treatment to end bed bugs is really, really expensive. And it's disappointing to spend so much money on heat treatment to still find out that you have a bed bug infestation trapped inside your walls or baseboards. Listen, the chemical formula works. The chemical application works. It can kill bed bugs and their eggs for days and weeks later. It's strong enough to kill on the first application. It's strong enough to kill on the only application. And it is effective and less expensive and less risky and less potentially damaging to your home and your personal belongings. Don't get us wrong, okay? If you have $1,000 to spend on ending bed bugs, I mean, if you got it like that, yay. And if you have days on end to let giant heaters sit in your home, then heat treatment may be the way for you. But if you want the bed bug infestation gone, if you want the biting and the itching and the scratching to stop, then consider the faster, the safer, and the more effective chemical application method that we shared. Hey, Pathfinder Pest Control, the Tulsa bed bug specialist, has been studying the biology and the chemistry and the bed bug behavior for years. And we've come up with a method that is 100% effective and safe on killing bed bugs in any type of situation. That means we can get into the small places. We can get up on the 13th floor. We can get in that car and that RV or that motor home. We can get behind those baseboards. Anyway, if you find that you and your family are itching and scratching the night away due to a horrible bed bug infestation, there is only one thing that you can do, in my opinion, of course. I mean, I am on the podcast talking about it. You can call the bed bug specialist today. I mean, we are really good at getting rid of bed bugs. We specialize in it. Look, don't spend another sleepless night. Get rid of them right away. Anyway, until next time, sleep tight and, well, you know the rest.